Your own children may not have a safer planet to live in. And a very good uh, testimony of climate change is the global temperature rise. Global temperatures are risen to, to plus two degrees out of the normal. And if I made that too, you notice that temperatures have increased now. When cool in the southwest and the cold, they used to feel a lot cold. Now it's no longer the situation. At night, you feel cold and there are mosquitoes. Those are many examples of climate change. So we want through the Green Schools program that students like you, apart from just learning history, geography, chemistry, biology, and so on, which is all pure sciences, you need to come up with a spirit of environmental protection. So we advocate to make sure that brains like yours, who are leaders of tomorrow, should join us to see the opportunities that come with protecting the environment. So beginning with that, we were working with two companies uh, we worked with. Then we thought it wise that this campus, since it's new and it's very beautiful on a hill with a lot of weed, like uh, Madame said, some mango trees were felled down and guava trees, which are not good for you because you forget about your microbes and you have a stick. You feel that trees should be fundamental. So that when the sun is shining a lot, you go and sit under. You feel the freshness. I think it's a throw their trees down the clouds behind them and the campus is still as fundamental. So we are going to be doing that beginning with you. So if you join hands with us, we are going to make sure that we work together to find this, this uh, whole concept of your permission, Regina, I will just uh, introduce the trees that we are going to be planting. Our trees are supposed to be handled jealously. We have just uh, three species that we were able to bring on the campus. Even at home, we have several trees you can tell your parents, those who have farms to, to come closer to us, we train them on how to manage trees and manage their farm work. So we're beginning with you. When you go back home, you, you send a message across. Is that clear? Yes. yes, we have to mold champions like you. And before I get there, there are four schools that we're supposed to come here. We have those of GHS Bayele, we have those of uh, GPHS Litok, those of GSS uh, Banshe to compete with uh, some of you to see who are those who are going to, to be working with us as environmental champions when you come back in September. This tree is a uh, Grevillea, Grevillea robusta. Hmm? Can you remember the name? Yes. Grevillea robusta. <laughs> yes, it's a new, it's a very, very important tree species that is just new to us. Like we are on a hill, when you are going down, you see how the road is, right? Which means that uh, runoffs, and rainfall, and so on, when it, it disturbs the land, and even agriculture for those who are cultivating on the plants of this hill. So it is first of all planted to say that. If you look at the leaves, they are green, they are very friendly. If they fall off, they can easily decay. And if you look at it, you must have noticed that it's a tree that grows very fast, right? Yes. And it is good, therefore, for those who want to produce timber. Timber is produced in the northwest from which tree? Which tree do you know? Plants from where? From Eucalyptus. So this is a good, a very good, you know, a tree. And so it, to produce timber, you can sit under it to receive shelter, right? So you handle this tree with care. Next year, when you come back, we still plant a lot of them. It gives the beauty this campus deserves since it's on the hill. We have just two of them because it's very expensive for us. So we are trying to see we will bring more. Can we say Kesia? Kesia. SPP. I saw her calling with a lot of compassion, which means she loves trees. Kesia is very important. This tree grows very, very fast. That is why we brought, we brought a very young one. This is two months old. And about uh, five months, it can no longer withstand the polythene parts. From the day we are planting, when you come in September, you will not know this tree. So when you are planting, you should note their height and sizes. You see how tall it has already grown. So it's equally very good for shelter. So the essence, your pledge you are going to be taking is to care for the trees on campus, especially during the dry season. If you are asked to water the tree, you do just that. And I, this is a shrub. The first one I showed you was a timber tree which grows very tall. And so we cannot plant in here, very close to the classroom, which works isolated. But for a shrub like this one, you can plant closer to your, 
even to the roof, no problem. Because we, you know, cannot throw in the way we can't cause a lot of havoc when it falls off and so on. And it's good because it invites birds. It produces small seeds that bring in small birds. One of our projects is bird conservation to identify birds and see how we can preserve.